motherfucker. Hey, what's up? Hi. In case you were wondering, that default right there was supposed to represent you. A noob, I, I mean beginner, which is why you clicked on the video, right? In any case, that's the typical Fortnite experience. Once you get out of the bot lobbies, feeling pretty confident with your skill, the game is like, You thought, bruh? Nah. It puts you in lobbies with absolute nerds like that soccer skin, and you get sent back to the lobby again, and again, and again, until you're on the verge of spontaneously combusting and going to play a prop hunt instead. But if you at least know the best simple build moves, you'll be the one clipping the sweat. This is a list of the top five. They're super easy to learn, and they are all you'll need to get your first dubs playing against some real Fortnite no lifes. The first build move is a 90. You've likely heard of it already. It's easily the most popular and commonly used of the five, but it's also the most important. The concept is pretty straightforward. Go up a layer, turning 90 degrees each time. There are a few ways you can do 90s, but some of them are more difficult like this one and require that you were good at doing the normal ones. Okay, so a standard 90 looks like this. So you place a ramp, then you place a wall right in front, and then you turn that direction or 90 degrees either right or left place another wall you can you can also place one down here if it, if it helps and then you jump and then you have to place a floor and a ramp as you jump so then you just repeat the process wall turn 90 degrees place another wall jump floor and ramp and then just continue so full speed the 90 will look like this Now the second move on the list is the double edit. It's exactly what it sounds like. You place a floor and a cone on top of it and edit a tile or two on each so that you can continue up or down through these builds. This move is also really easy to master and if you practice, you'll have it down in no time. If you're struggling to do it fast enough, like when you're running and then you just can't get it in time and you just end up smacking your head into the cone, then something you can do is approach the edit from the side because that means there's more distance that you have to run and you can spend all of that time actually editing. So that could help as well. So for example, instead of going like this, you could approach from the side and then you could do wider edits and all kinds of retakes and stuff. The third move can be considered a high ground retake. I don't exactly know its name and it is a little bit more tricky, but it's used a lot even by players of higher skill levels and is definitely worth learning. This is what it looks like. To do this retake, all you want to do is build up normally with your ramps. Then you want to place a wall either on your left or right side. It's so like this. And you want to place a wall above it then one in front of you. Finally, place a ramp above you. Then just repeat the process. Place another ramp, wall to the side, one wall above it, one in front, and then ramp above, and continue. This is what it looks like at full speed. Before we get into the next move, I think it would be a good time to mention that your settings on both controller and KVM are very important when it comes to many mechanics in Fortnite, but especially building. I have a keyboard and mouse settings video as well as one for controller, both PlayStation and Xbox, if you want to check those out too. This fourth build move is easily the most simple of the three. It's called a ramp rush. It gives you the ability to attack or rush an opponent taking high ground using your ramps or stairs, whatever you want to call it, while fortifying it with another layer of builds, because a single layer of builds is really easy to shoot out and you'll take fall damage. It's exactly like the same ramp rush that was in one of the Cypher PK vs Nigay 30 videos. To do a simple ramp rush, every time you place a stair, you also want to place a floor under it and a wall in front of it like this. This is a ramp rush at a normal speed. The final build move on this list is the side jump high ground retake. There are also a few ways that you can do this one, but they aren't too different. Here are two ways you can do it. For the first way, you have to place a ramp, a cone on top, then time your side jump so that you can get around the cone and be just a little higher than the layer that the cone is on. While you're in the air, you have to quickly look up and place two high walls for cover. After that, you have to catch yourself with a floor on the way down so that you still end up landing on the same layer as the cone. Try to land more forwards so that you retain your momentum, and you can also place a stair behind you for additional cover. The second way is pretty similar. You also run up the ramp and place a cone, but before you side jump, you place two walls like so. Right after that, in one fluid motion, side jump, and this time, just focus on landing on the same layer as the cone. It should look something like this. Here's how you can combine all of these build moves into your first free build. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Later.